Today's quick tip is to revisit books that your children really liked when they were younger when things are tough. So books that you maybe read again and again and again and again, you know, to the point where your kids maybe knew them word for word. Those books that feel really safe and really familiar and a bit like a kind of verbal hug can be a lovely thing to revisit if things are feeling a bit challenging. So when our kids are finding things tough, maybe things are tricky at school or maybe they're just going through a bit of a tough time for some reason, maybe you've got things going on at home that are challenging, whatever the reason, if things feel a little bit hard, then looking backwards a little bit to things that felt safe and secure and uh, kind of m made us feel just, just looked after and loved and, and, and had nice memories attached to them can be really good stuff to, to revisit. So we can encourage our children almost to like regress a little bit, become a little bit more childlike and reassert our role as parents. Um, and books that they've enjoyed in the past is a really simple and nice way of doing that. If your child doesn't seem like really open to that idea, then sometimes you can encourage them to read those books to you if they don't want to be read to, if that feels too babyish for them for some reason. Or you can actually encourage them to read those books to um, other people. So maybe they've got a younger sibling or maybe you've got a pet that they might be happy to read the book to. Like you can kind of think of different ways around it. but books, particularly ones that are kind of like lyrical in the reading of them that might rhyme and feel nice and have a certain rhythm and cadence to them. Like we love the Julia Donaldson books, for example, like Tabby McTat is a real favourite in our house. And when we read them and we feel that familiar sense of rhythm and cadence, it just brings back that sense of safety and certainty and love that you felt many, many times before uh, when reading those books. So consider digging them back out. Don't let them all go. Keep hold of one or two old favourites because you never know just when you might need them. And it can be surprising quite how long kids will be happy to hold on to them for. They might not want to read them with you. They might not let you know even that they're reading them, but just they might just have them to hand in their room just in case they can return to them should they need to. So yeah, return to younger books that were really enjoyed and feel full of love and joy uh, in those more challenging times. I would love to hear in the comments, what are your favourite books? What are the books that you as a family have read together again and again and again? Are there any particular favourites there? Um, it'd be great to see some recommendations from different people because we can learn about new books from each other all the time. My other recommendations, because you will all have heard and probably read loads of the Julia Donaldson ones already, we also love a book called Dogs Don't Do Ballet. Um, it's by the same authors as Rhinos Don't Eat Pancakes and actually both of those are fantastic books. All of the books by that author illustrator duo are amazing and I'd highly recommend. I'll put a link in the uh, description so that you can check them out should you wish to but yeah leave your suggestions in the comments too so we can find out from each other what would go down well with different families. Um, I hope that you like this idea. Let me know if you try it and how you get on with it. And if you are enjoying the content I'm creating, please consider heading over to my Patreon page where you'll find a ton of resources that you can download and videos you can watch and all sorts of jazz like that. And if you feel so uh, compelled, uh, then I would be delighted if you would join me as a Patreon and make a small contribution each month to support me to keep creating content for parents and carers to help you to help your child.